So you decided to throw a small Valentine's party and then, oops, you forgot to plan it. <laughs> Not to worry, our next guest, Janine Bobbenmoyer, visits us from the City Mom. She has a few quick and easy tips that are going to help you create some magic and memories for your guests. Janine, welcome back. Thank you so much. Okay, so yeah, you get these all grand plans in I your know. head. Let's have this big party and then, uh-oh. We need to get it together. It's okay. We've got some great ideas for you. I think starting first with really kind of the feel for your Valentine's party. Of course, there has to be red, pink, and hearts. Absolutely. And you know, you don't have to go super overboard on food. Really, even having just a tea and dessert is definitely going to go a long way for your guests. But one idea that we had for you is, you know, take advantage of a lot of those heart things you're seeing in all of the stores. I mean, Target, Walmart, Meyer, they've got so many cute things right now. Yes. So grab some of those and you can use these just to kind of plate for your guests. So some little side dishes maybe that are heart inspired. Very cute. Got this cute um, cutting board that we're actually using as a plate. Oh, I was thinking it'd make a cute charcuterie board uh, it too. It would too, exactly. Love it. But, you know, imagine we're pouring some tea into our heart-shaped glass. Yes. Or heart-shaped mug but lots of fun little things you can be doing here. And I especially love these little heart-shaped um, champagne glasses. Those so, are so cute. adorable. So definitely grab those. But if you're feeling like you'd like to do something a little more traditional, don't be afraid to source from your own cabinet and pantry. So these are just some of the things that I had at home. And again, I mean, we're seeing some pink and red in here, but it's not like over the top, well, right? Well, yeah. And I mean, it's always fun to bust out the good stuff. It is. Exactly. <laughs> so either way, whichever way you want to go, it's always fun to kind of set this up for your Valentine's party. Yes. Okay. So now that we've got the table set, we need to come up with some fun things for um, our guests to do. So we're going to shift over this way yes. because everybody likes to snap photos, commemorate the day. Do it for the gram. Exactly. Yes. So this is a really fun idea that's easy to set up. Imagine you've got like your selfie stick ready to go, but set up a fun photo wall and you can grab these exo balloons every everywhere right now. Oh yeah. Even like consider making a collage out of them, but grab even some of those other fun props. So maybe oh, we'll give you the red. You. We'll go with the blue. You can Ooh. have your flags, but just, you know, snap, snap, snap right here. It's perfect. <laughs> so there you go. I love that. Okay. So, um, and then you can just share that post away. Exactly. But we cannot have a party without food. We can't. And there's so many great ideas out on Pinterest, but we're kind of running with the heart theme. Love so it. what we pulled together was this fun Nutella heart pastry idea. And it, it can be made either with pie crusts. I actually made these with crescent rolls. Oh, yum. Just, what you're doing is creating a base layer that you're going to put your Nutella on top of, create that top layer, and then after you've baked these up in the oven, all you need is a little confectioner's sugar. A little sprinkle here. A little sprinkle. This one's a little bit more in depth than that. We cut and twisted our dough. So yes. exact same idea as here, but cut and twisted that dough, give it a little color. But yeah, just go ahead and sprinkle Yum. some confectioner's you, sugar. You cannot go wrong with Nutella either. You really can't. Right? It's such an indulgence and perfect. Yes. Now, what are we doing here with our drinks? This is a fun one. I think we need to do this one together. Okay. So you've got some marshmallow fluff, so yeah. do I. This is going to be a really fun way to kind of create a drink for kids. Ooh, or right. think about a strawberry mudslide maybe even for Yum. the adults. So we're using this marshmallow fluff and we're gonna take our spoon and create a little heart on the inside of our glass. What? So I know. So Janine, how do I do that? Kind of a smudge, and I don't know if mine's gonna okay. come out the best, but you know, you can get the idea. Okay, so I'm following you now. Create that little smudge for that effect, and then you're gonna take this marshmallow flush, fluff, and let's rub this along the top, because we're gonna go ahead and dip that into our sprinkles here. Okay, my heart, does that look like a heart? I like it. I think I don't know, Janine. That's <laughs> I, I like it. I like where you're going with it. But once we're done with that, we're going to take our strawberry milk. Because again, pink. Get some pink in here. Yes. Go ahead and fill up that glass for your guest. And you can see that the little strawberry or the little heart. Well, mine, I needed a little bit more layering in here. But you can kind of see how that stuck to it just I a little bit. I love it. Oh, my gosh. This is so fun. And then okay. go ahead and drop your straw in. That's perfect. And you've Beautiful. got a great drink for your guests. Beautiful. And who doesn't love a marshmallow rimmed glass? I know, right? right? Exactly. Oh, my gosh. We're looking at your blog there. And it's free for everyone to join. Check out. Join yeah. your network of other moms. Yes. Come on over. The city 
BabyMoms.org. Just join us. We've got lots of fun events and things coming up. Okay. Well, hey, I think we've just got your next Valentine's Day party planned here. Thanks to um, Janine here from the City Moms. If you want to learn more about what all they're doing there, you can join their community. Like them on Facebook. We'll have all the links over at CIVing.tv after today's show.